if I can get closer, you'll see some pollen baskets on his hind legs. And that's how they cross pollinate. Lots of hoverflies, lots and lots of hoverflies. They're small. So that one that we saw earlier was a real, real treat. Lots of hoverflies flying around. I don't know how well you can see them on the video. Here's one that landed on the top of the mint leaf. Okay, a couple of wasps coming in and you could just swat your hand around back and forth, back and forth. That gets rid of the wasps. There's a ton on the mint. Let's go over by the hydrangea. Oh, so I wanted to move my dillweed so we could do a fire pit tonight. And I have a dilemma. Hello, wasp. Oh, shoot him away using my own advice. Right here. On the tip of this dill. See those white dots? Those two white dots there? Those are eggs. I'm going to guess swallowtail because they really like dill. This dill plant doesn't have any. Coming back over here, more activity on the hydrangea. Again, there's a big hoverfly right there, hanging out. Smaller hoverflies. And this is just about an hour later because my phone died. There's our friend, the leaf hopper, multicolored leaf hopper. So life is happening when you look for it in any garden. Plant local native plants as much as you can. We have lots of grasshoppers also. They come out in the late afternoon. There's a little wasp flying around. This lilac will get tons of iridescent, um, blue, thin-waisted wasps. Tons and tons and tons. There is a 